nine whole minutes. I get nine whole minutes for this video. Oh, oh my face is all red because um I didn't put any foundation or anything because my eye. Thank God it's feeling better now. It was like for two days. Two days it was burning and I thought I was going to go blind or something. I was freaking out. Because <sighs> uh, I, I dyed my hair at home with the box dye. Because I, you know, because of this virus thing. And I've been using the same brand for many years. So it's not like, well, you know, it's a big change. So I'm doing the same thing every month. And this month I was like... <laughs> It, it stung my eye and I washed it out and I'm like, okay, should be gone now. But no, it took two, two, two days and it's still not completely gone. But um, I had to buy eye drops and I was just freaking out because I was like, no, 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 I'll never die. I swear to God, I will never dye my hair again with a box. Was, please just don't let me go blind. I mean, then I started thinking about all the things that I would miss seeing if I went blind. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm like one of those people that goes crazy over everything. And like, <sighs> catastrophizes everything. Yeah, so. But I'm so grateful right now that I'm not blind or whatever. Oh, so I didn't put no makeup on. Um, to make sure that um, it heals properly. So, um, <sighs> every little thing is like an issue. <laughs> if one little thing goes wrong, it's the end of the world for me. Yes, seriously. <sighs> I don't know. Sometimes I wish I could turn my brain off, you know. But I have bigger problems than that that I'm dealing with now and I'm just thinking should I waste money on the lawyer because he's gonna he's gonna make it hard for me and like cause me stress and and problems through the court system you know back and forth and he won't follow the guidelines he's not gonna follow anything like um he'll he'll he still alienates me um you know, it alienates the kids against me, whatever, and he's just always doing something. Like, you know, I was watching some videos on the narcissist, how they always gotta be doing something. Like, they always gotta to keep themselves busy and, like, have to be in the company of other people. It's just, like, it's completely 100% how he was. Like, he could never sit still, not he, he Some days he wouldn't sleep. It was really fucked up. Like, like how do you function... Like that, and then he used to say that since I like to take naps, that I'm lazy, and God, the way that he would say it was just so, so, like, um, so, um, abusive, the way that he would say it, but, you know, naps are actually healthy, if you take at least, like, one nap during the day, it's good for your body and mind so and you know person like me i get overwhelmed quick so <clears throat> i like to relax for a long periods and during the day and um you know recharge myself and i'm much i'm i'm like an introverted person like if i have to do something with a lot of people then uh, i'm gonna need to conserve my energy as much as i can and you know recharge kind of like a battery i don't know that's how i am and a lot of people like that so you know we don't match in that sense where he's always had to be doing something and i thought he was extroverted or something but he's not it's, it... <sighs> it was it was part of the disorder it's actually part of the disorder too um yeah so what was i saying um so this is this is gonna be exciting for him a new a new way to torture me and and cause me distress and you know keep me going to the courts i i can't go i cannot travel to michigan from where i am uh we live far too far apart for that to really go on like reasonably not even if you got that kind of money you could be doing that and i really don't have that kind of money so <sighs> 
so I'm just, I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, don't hire a lawyer. Let it lapse into whatever he agreed upon with the lawyer. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, you know, they're going to come after me for child support or whatever. But, I mean... If I if I move now I sound like one of those deadbeat dads that that are like oh I'm gonna move if you put me on child support I'll quit my job and basically my ex has said that on recording it's in one of my videos if you want to look back at that um we don't get my phone's about to die um it's in the past videos um of 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 re me recording the conversations with him on the phone. And he says, well, you know, uh, you want to come after me? Well, I'll just quit my job and I'll move and I'll do. Well, that's what he'll do. That's what he's done. I mean, but it's because I don't have that money. I don't have it right now. I'm, try I'm trying to restart my, my life. And every time I do that, because I have to leave him and I was mostly dependent on him for money. And so... Every, every time I try to restart myself and be dependent, it seems, that he wants to come attack me and take my money or whatever my possessions are. So, <laughs> he has great timing. Like, this is the... He has no time. Like, he must spend hours in the day, every day, um, thinking of ways to screw me over and um, to get away with it. Because the, the one thing that they don't like, narcissists, are getting caught by the law or, you know... Uh, um, <clears throat> the public knowing about what they really do, the crimes that they commit. So, you know, just get me into trouble for no reason, you know, waste time and trying to put all the focus on me while they're doing God knows what. Um, so, um, because if I, I got to pay thousands of dollars to the lawyer. I'm, I'm not getting any program assistance. Like, that doesn't exist anymore. If, if you, and none of y'all know. Um, it's a very difficult time right now for people with lower income. Um, the, 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 the programs, like um, non-profit programs or, you know, public service programs. All of them are cut in this state, you know, for the most part. I don't know if every state is like that. But, um, yeah, so that's the first thing to go, you know, when things like this happen. Um, so, anyway, there's a big long list to get the, um, what is it? Legal aid or something? Yeah, legal aid. That line is huge, and, um, now it's even longer, especially in this state. This is a huge, um population we have a big ass population here in new jersey we're a tiny state yet we have we're like overpopulated really too many people there's too many people here let me tell you um but anyway so you know so those kinds of programs for people that are maybe less well off uh don't exist right now they just don't um or they're gonna be you know they've been cut or they're getting cut and it's just it's, it's really depressing to think about all that because anything that could have been there for me to help me in this situation is gone so all i can do is just spend the money i do have and either invest in a lawyer or just to get the fuck out of here and i'm gonna move and then they'll try to look for me i'm gonna be one of those people like i'm waiting child support fuck it i don't care because like, I tried so many other ways with